Okay, Debbie. You got this. Top. She's talking about the people she was with getting turned. And also that she was here for something? As a member of the CDC, citizens everywhere will be looking to you to lead them in a time of disease related crisis. Remember your protocol at all times. One, wear sealed protective equipment. It might scare your patients into thinking that you are going that they are going to die, but better them than you, right? Keep threats separated. Now, sick people are disgusting, and healthy people want. To... Who wrote this? <laughs> With that in mind, keep the sick people away. From... I mean, this is actually protocol, but that's not the reasoning behind it. I mean, look. At some point in the CDC, you just stop giving a fuck. Never come forth to this disease. They may seem weak and pathetic, but really, they are swarming the bacteria. Keep your dis. Her superior is a monster. Did KG write these? <laughs> Do your job. If you find yourself forced to mercilessly slaughter your teammates because they become infected with some rare mutation, keep in mind, uh, you're only doing your job. They would do the same for you. KG wrote these. <laughs> <sighs> Assist our Orochi partners in their research. Attempt to detain, attain a sample of this volatile agent known as the filth. Examine the effects of the filth on live organisms. Oh, we have plenty of opportunities to do that. Yep. Field team. Mavis Anderson. Hmm. Yep. I think we... Ernesto F. Mermiras. Lieutenant Frank McGrath. Um... I wonder if Ramirez or McGrath wrote that. Let's see what we can find here. Whoa. This place does not look healthy. Nope. Nope. I'm getting that weird thing where it seems like the very air is grimy. Yeah, I'm definitely kind of picking that up. Wendigo? There's a Wendigo tower. Whoa, that's actually a Wendigo head? Oh. Something murdered Wendigo. What the, the fuck? Or... This is the absolute last thing we need. I mean, or did the Wendigo put them? I don't know. There are cannibals. Don't want to think about it. Do not want to think about it. Maybe one of them decided to be a little ironic about it. Don't you think? This was described as a lake back in the time of the um, that, um of the commune, of the hippie commune. This is not a lake. I mean, industrialization? I... Mavis Anderson. Huh. I guess she made it out of the, out of the, uh... What, uh, uh, what the fuck is that? Jesus Christ, it's I... like the Cloverfield monster. It creeps through the crawly cracks of 3 a.m.? That weird dimension. There are thoughts that can only hatch in the human skull at 3 a.m. It is always 3 a.m. somewhere. It is happening right now. Okay, that one. That one I should have done the Night Vale joke on. What is that? What is that thing? Don't get too close to it, though. And there's an even bigger one. Uh, I am That's just... Billy's Muse. I am distressed. Billy's Muse? I uh, remember, remember that. Hmm. 
Night after night, she listens to the howling in the pipes. It gains a blood-curdling cadence. She hums along. She can almost sing the words. She scratches the pimples dotting her body. They swell to boils. They burst, revealing new eyes. The eyes show her unutterable truths. Soon she sticks thumbtacks into her tongue so she can better explain these truths to the weeping children whose beds she hides under. It is always 3 a.m. in the filth. It is liquid 3 a.m., black and dripping. Mysterious men with eyes and pyramids on their business cards came calling on Mr. DeVore. His influence thrilled them. They elevated him into their inner circle. Mrs. DeVore, swallowed by the empty house, grew bored. She took solace in the company of a colleague of her husband. The affair lasted until she lost interest. The house stifled. She pleaded with her husband to go with her to New York. The best laid plans cut short. Mrs. DeVore was cut short by the poison of her scorned lover. The hangman's noose cut Mr. DeVore short when he was framed for the murder. Mrs. DeVore's mysterious lover bought the mansion with hopes of turning the success of the mine into his own. The best laid plans cut short by a faltering iron market. Source the Category A agent. What Orochi lab coats are calling the filth seems to be the slurry pipes from the quarry at Blue Ridge. I shudder to think of the implications of the stuff reaches the ocean. If you can't rely on the military Orochi, the short-term solution is to jam those pipes. Barrels by the south dock? Chances of survival aren't great, but they're not great with Forsyth's corpse st stalking me either. Well. Okay, so we gotta clog up the filth pipes. Yep. With barrel lids, apparently they fit, might fit. Okay, sure. They're just ignoring you. Maybe you've got, like, so much filth on you that you smell like one of theirs. Maybe. I made my animus so powerful that, like, I don't know. Powerful, powerful anima. That's it's a good, a good enough explanation for anything. Seriously. Okay, I need to get out of there. Yeah. Oh. Oh God, that's not. I can see what it's doing to you. Ooh. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I do not like this place. Mm. Hey, I don't know. there's. Something there. A cat collar? Oh, Miramac. Miramac's always been a troublemaker. Oh boy, that's biggin'. Is this the thing that drove Billy mad? Billy Lee? I mean, shit, I can almost understand that one that after seeing that. It was used to be a... This used to be a... This used to be a lake at some point. Must have been a while ago because for the trees to have started to grow out of it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they need to drain Wait. it. Wait. What? God damn it! The red hand again? 
Why are all these crates here? Ow! Okay, ah! Uh, oh, devil Jesus. cat, devil cat, devil cat, devil cat! Ah! Uh, freaking thing is... It's like you're a first level commoner, what the shit? Ah, uh, it's claws! Are they made of adamantium? I mean, cats are a deeper and more powerful magic than any mankind has ever seen. Ah! Uh, I guess. It's like it's shredding my soul! Quick, uh, the cat's just as scared of you as you are of it. No, that cannot possibly be true. Have you met you? You're terrifying. In a good way. There. Here. Deal with it. You deal with the cat. Jesus. There's a... Oh, there's this laptop here belonging to Frank. I never liked Frank. <laughs> From Ramirez, samples. We need samples to the affect you subjects in the blog. Science remains our best hope of the counteracting blog. the effect. Huh? You said in the blog. Oh. Blog. <laughs> Science remains our best, best hope of counteracting the effects of, effects of the Category A agent. Please follow the contamination procedures when you're done. And be careful, Frank. <laughs> well, how'd that work out for him? Oh. There, it, that didn't work out for him well. I didn't even see him there. We're, we're horrible people. <sighs> Maybe a little bit. <sighs> so let's block off these pipes. Now, uh, what? Oh, God. Gee, hey, how do they have guns? They're Because they were people once. I mm. That's why we need gun control in this country. To keep the zombies from getting guns. Well, that was a filth infected, not a zombie. It's close enough. They are really close to each other. I wonder yeah. if there's, like, some connection there that I don't... I'm sure there's, like, a Venn diagram or something. Yeah. Whoa! Damn it. it fucking, it fucking, get over here! <laughs> yeah, it's scorpion to me. Mm -hmm. A woman wakes with a headache. She seeks aspirin in the bathroom. Black mold grows on the wall tiles. The stains form a face. She hears a terrible howling from the sink drain. She bends to listen. When she looks up, she does not recognize the reflection in the mirror. The face in the stain smiles. I've had mornings like that. Oh, there's Frank McGrath. Lieutenant Frank McGrath. I was wondering when we weren't into him. Good work. The CDC network allows us to retrieve information about this mysterious spilled substance. It's coming from the quarry and causing high levels of mutation, madness, sickness, entropy. With all the Orochi and CDC personnel like MIA, you should have no lack of case studies. Mm. The CDC is great during a measles outbreak, but they're out of their depth on this one. All the reports are of the WTF variety. They were sent in to tag along with the Orochi group because the government likes to feel cooperated with. Fun fact, the quarry is owned by Orochi. God damn it! Of course it fucking is. Okay. Catching it in the filth burst after I kill him. Mm. He's got to sort of hold out the container and kept some in a cup. That, that is disgusting, but effective. It's, it's like working at a sperm bank. <laughs> oh, I re did the bees call... I think I remember the bees calling it the black worm jism at some point. Oh, God, yes, they did. 
That is not a phrase that will ever leave my mind. See, look, they, they're digging like the zombies are. The zombies just randomly dig everywhere and kick walls. I think he was using his guns to dig with. That's not very effective. No, it is not. Oh, sure, I can just... Claws, where did you get claws? I don't even... I don't even know. I feel like I'm kind of starting to like cap out my ability, you know, in um, hammers and shotguns. I'm not quite there yet, but I feel like like I have no very little room to grow, you know. Oh man, you already you already got so good, you got two superhero outfits out of it. Yeah, I might need to change up change it up a bit. Yeah, I mean it'll get boring otherwise. I mean, like, learning something new might mm -hmm. help me, um, you know, surpass my own limits. So it's time for a training montage. I've actually been sort of learning the basics of chaos magic. Of what? Of chaos magic. I mean, are you sure that's wise? Why would that be unwise? All the or time. Why would that be uniquely unwise? Um, does it need to be uniquely unwise? Well, because, like, the thing is, it's always kind of actually what I've done. Turns out, like, the spell I cast, the spells I cast from the past were mm -hmm. chaos magic. They alter probability. Hmm. See you later. Let's put these in here. Now, I've got to follow decontamination procedures and... Debbie, are, are you okay? I am. I, I... I won't look if that's what you're worried about. No. No, it's... No, it's... It, that's, oh, that's, that's not it. That's not it. It doesn't matter if you're looking at not. Re Debbie, someone could take deep breaths. <sighs> deep breaths. <sighs> oh God! But Beaumont didn't. Everything is all just suddenly. I can't. I can't do it. Debbie, what? It's what's fine. wrong? <laughs> to withdraw? Try to get help on me. I think I know me. I can't go anywhere with this stuff on me. I can't... I can't... I can't... I can't... I can't... I can't go. Debbie, what, what is I it? I can't... What's, what's the matter? <laughs> when I said I was... I felt... It was the first time I felt helpless. It reminded me. It reminded me of why I killed that bastard! <laughs> 